Praise the Lord. What are the ways of knowing God's will? Everybody wants to do the God's will and want to know the God's will. Today we'll see what are the ways you can know the God's will. Psalms 32, 8. What Psalms 32, 8 says, the Lord says, I will instruct you. I will teach you the way you should go. I will advise you as my eyes watch over you. So it is written clearly, I will instruct you. I will teach you teach you, I will advise you. So how to know the will of the Lord? There are seven ways you can know, by the seven ways you can usually know the will of the Lord. The will of the Lord is known through the word of God, one, the first thing. Second thing is through the inward witness of the spirit. Third one through the circumstances. Fourth one through some general visions. Fifth one through prayers. Sixth one through some signs. Seven the one through the council of spiritual brothers. But by the seven ways, we can know the God's will. The God can use anything in your life to the particular situation. So first thing is through the word of God. Isaiah 30, 21 says, um, Isaiah 30, 21 says, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear your voice behind you saying, this is a way walk in it. Most of the time, we read Bible, do, 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 do read the daily devotion, see the daily devotions, um, and we have the word of God in our heart. If you have like this, um, during some certain situation, you don't know what to do, suddenly God will tell that Rima word in your ears. Um, that will happen to the person who has a good fellowship with the God and who has the uh, everyday Bible reading. And uh, that to that person, God will um, show his word by directly talking about particular word, a Rima word in that year. That is through the word of God. Second thing is through the inward witness of the spirit. Everybody has them, Holy Spirit. That's what John 16, 13 says. But when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his word. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what yet to come. So who is going to tell what yet to come? The Holy Spirit. Um, the best example is that um, in the church of Antioch, um, there were prophets, teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, Kaligar, Lucas, uh, Lucius of Syrian, uh, Maniar, and so many people are there. And the Saul was also there, who's also called Paul. While well, they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So God is calling to his good work as a, a separate work. Work, a new work for that he wanted two people the two, two people are Saul which who also called Paul and Barnabas because um, that how they revealed God revealed it when they were fasting and praying and through the through the uh, Holy Spirit um, it was revealed so after they have fasted and prayed they placed their hands on them and sent them off. So who told you reveal this? Holy Spirit said to them, to, to, to the inward witness of the Spirit. Um, then third thing, maybe somebody has prophecy, proph prophesied um, uh, how the Holy Spirit himself come and tell through the gift of prophecy because there are so many, it is written that there were prophets and teachers. Um, so um, there are, since there are so many prophets through the gift of prophecy, the person can reveal the will of the God that is the uh, witness of the Holy Spirit. Um, the third thing is nothing but through the circumstance um, because you know, we, uh, the human, the human uh, kind, human, uh, human start their uh, life um, by knowing the God in the in the, in the garden of Gethsemane. But do do because of the fall in their nature, uh, they, they they became the sinners. Um, but um, uh, but the, the, the God never left them. But God, as a, through the creation, every day. And he's talking to the people. So we cannot say, a person cannot deny that. Um, nobody told me that you are the true God in the front of the judgment seat. Um, because the creation itself, um, revealing who the real God is, uh, how the God uh, is the creator works. Um, uh, the Romans 1.20, for since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal and divine nature has been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. Nobody can be excused, uh, ask excuse for the God for not telling that we don't know you are the true God. That's why we worship the false God. That's why we uh, we were in the world uh, knowing, unknowingly. We cannot say because um, through the circumstance, God revealed his will. And fourth one is through some general visions. Um, it is there in Acts chapter 16. Now here the Paul was in the second missionary journey. He would want to move towards the Asia Minor and Asia towards Asia he want to move, but the door was closed there. Holy Spirit is God is not allowing that to send him, but so he don't know where to go, and he was trying in all ways, but all the old doors were closed at that time. The night vision in Acts chapter 16, 9 to 10. During the night, Paul had a vision of men of Macedonia standing and begging him, Come to over to Macedonia. 
Macedonia and help us. After Paul has been the vision, we got ready at once to leave the Macedonia, concluding that God has called us to preach the gospel to them. That is what is there. So, so he went there to the Macedonia, and there he went to Philippine. There he saw, was one person only, and God made a great miracle to send him out of the imprisonment. And the, the jailer, and the slave girl, and um, um, Lydia, everybody are saved there, and God formed the church there. So that Philippian church helped Paul so many ways when we are in our house arrest in the room. Also, they send money, they supported Paul in so many ways. So, so through the visions, God will certainly show you where to go, what to do, how to spread the gospel. And fifth one is through prayer. Here also we are taking the Paul as an example because we don't know Paul have some physical infirmities, maybe having some problem in the eye, or maybe the what. King leg. We don't know, but because so many times Paul was um, stoned, uh, he was uh, um, whipped. Uh and he was uh, sent in the prison and he had so many shipwreck um, and so he met also so many dangers maybe he has uh, had some problem because of that facing the danger we don't know but paul, paul what do he, what he was doing is i break the second corinthians 12 8 says i break it the lord there three times to take away from me this sickness but uh, god told me my kindness is all you need my power is strongest when you are weak so i will brag every even more about my weaknesses in order that christ's power will live in me so paul is telling outwardly, even though I have this weakness, weakness and whenever I was weak, I'll get the strength from the God. So in my weakness, I'm going to proclaim Christ's power if live in me. So I am so I am a living witness and that Christ's power live in me because I'm, in spite of my sickness, I'm still uh, alive. So that is through prayer. Paul found out the reason. So certain times God telling that I'm not going to save, heal you, but my grace is sufficient for you. So through the things God got talk to Paul immediately, he accepted Fix them is through some signs also God will show it. Um, for example, when Abraham want to want him want her son uh, daughter in law for uh, uh, for a son to get married, um, so he sent his um, uh, faithful servant uh, to the Laban's house um, to the faraway nation, so so he can uh, bring um, his relative's daughter to marry his son. But um, while he was going, he don't know to then which girl uh, he has to approach. He, he has that the servant has no idea. So uh, he prayed like this, where I will ask a girl, may I please have a drink from your jaw? If she answers, have a drink, I will show, always water your camel. Let her be the one you have chosen for your servant, Isaac. So he's asking another thing. If I'm going to ask water, not only give water to me and also to the camel, then that girl may be the chosen for your servant, Isaac. So that was a sign asked by that man. Even though she finished, he, he finished the prayer, Rebecca came, her, came there with the jaw in her soldier, uh, sorry, in her shoulder. She was the daughter of Bethuel and who was a um, uh, who was a uh, she was the daughter of the uh, Abraham's brother Nahor. So the God made cleared everything and um, Rebecca married Isaac. So through this, uh, through the signs also like this, through people's signs you can ask like this, um, and uh, God can reveal your will. Fourth to seventh one is through the council of spiritual brothers and most of the time we are relying on this also because you know, when we don't know what to do sometimes the spiritual brothers will reveal the god's will proverbs 13 for 13 14 says the teaching of the wise persons are a foundation of me to turn away from the grabs of death and the proverb 24 6 is after all with the right strategy you can wage war and with many advisors there is a victory that the advisors are through god and he give the god's word through the advisors and he give the victory so i want to pray for you so today today we learn that how to know the God's will. So let us find out the God's will and live according to the God's will. When we are confused what to do, find out the God's will through the word of God, through the inward witness of the spirit, through the circumstance, through the general vision, through the prayer, and through signs and through the counsel of spiritual brothers. I will pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for revealing how to find out the God's will. Help us to do the God's will and live according to the, in the, in the center of God's will. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God bless you.